Hi there, welcome to another video for GeoCert Higher Level Maths. We're going to continue today with statistics and looking at frequency tables, which are also sometimes called frequency distributions. Here's an example of a frequency table. And in this, we have the number of letters in a word. So you could have three letters in a word, four, five, six, or seven. And the frequency table tells us how many times then that number of letters appeared. So there were three words with three letters. There were four words with four letters. There were nine words with five letters. There were five words with six letters. And there were two words with seven letters. So the way of organizing our data, after you've collected all of your surveys, you need some way of organizing it so you can actually do an analysis on it. So frequency tables are a really good first step in that. To find the mean and the mode of the frequency table. Well, we know that the mode is the most frequently occurring piece of data. So here in the frequency table, the most frequently occurring piece of data was five letters in a word. Because there was nine words that had five letters in them, they had the highest frequency. So five is the mode. And to find the mean then, well, we need to add up all of the letters in the words and then divide by however many words there were. So what we need to do is there was three words with three letters. So we go three times three. So that was nine letters. And then we go, there was four words with four letters. So we go four times four, which is 16 letters. There was nine words with five letters. So nine times five is 45. And you continue that on and you add up all your letters. And I have that done for us here. So it was three times three, four times four, nine times five, five times six, two times seven. You add them all up and you get 144. And then we need to count up how many words were there all together. Well, looking at our frequency table again, there was three words, four words, nine, five, and two. So add all your frequencies together. That gives you the total amount of words. And there was 23 words. 144 divided by 23 equals 4.95. So the mean, you can be rounding that to five. So the average number of letters in a word was five. What we're going to do is we're going to do another example now. We're talking about goals scored in a number of matches. So the data here, if we want to find the mode, the mode is the highest frequency. 16 matches, there was two goals scored. So the mode is two goals because it has the highest frequency. And then to find the mean, we say there was 12 goals in the one match. So it was 12 times one. And we're going to find the total number of goals scored. There was 16 matches where there was two goals scored. There was 10 matches where there was three goals scored. There was eight matches where there was four goals scored. Six where they scored five and eight where they scored six. So to find the total number of goals scored, we add all of those up together. Now it gives us the total number of goals. That gives us 184 goals. So I'll put that on top. Now we then need to divide that by the total number of matches. So the matches were 12 plus 16 plus 10 plus 8 plus 6 plus 8. That's how many matches were played. So to find the average number of goals scored, you find the total number of goals and divide by the total number of matches. And that's 60. So there were 60 matches and 184 divided by 60, 3.06 repeating goals. So the mean number of goals scored in these matches was 3.06. So that's, that's pretty good for a game. They're just the standard frequency tables. We often come across grouped frequency tables where we won't be able to tell a specific piece of data, but instead they're gathered together because otherwise our table will be far too large. So instead we just group the data together. And here's an example of a grouped frequency table where we have the intervals. So from one to three is our first interval. So the numbers one, two, and three will all go into that first interval. And then our second interval goes from four to six. Our third interval goes from seven to nine. And our fourth interval goes from 10 to 12. And the frequency then, well, there's three people between one 
2, and 3. There are 17 people between 4, 5, and 6. There are 2 people between 7, 8, and 9. And there are 8 people between 10 and 12. So that's how the grouped frequency table works. To find the mode and mean of 1. Well, the mode, we don't know the exact mode, the exact value that appears the most often, but we do know the modal interval. So which interval had the most people in it from 4 to 6? Because that had a frequency of 17 or 17 people in it. So that's the modal interval. And to find the mean of one of these then, well, we can't find the exact mean, but we can get an approximation of it. And in order to do that, we get what's called a mid-interval value. So what number is the middle of the interval? So for our first interval here between 1 to 3, the middle value in that interval is 2. And from 4 to 6, the mid middle value is going to be 5. And from 7 to 8, the middle value is 8. And from 10 to 12, the middle value is 11. So there are mid-interval values, and using them, we'll be able to calculate the mean, which we're going to do down here. So I'm going to write my mid-interval values along the top in between them. So the middle interval value, as we said, was 2, 5, 8, and 11. And just as before then, we fill it out as a frequency table. So it was 3, and we're going to use 2 as our interval value. So it's going to be 3 times 2 plus 17 times 5 plus 2 times 8 plus 8 times 11 and we can calculate all that on the top to find the total number which is 195 and then we need to divide that by the number of people so our frequency and that's 3 plus 17 plus 2 plus 8 which is 30 so if we divide 195 by 30 we get 6.5. So the mean of this grouped frequency table is approximately 6.5. Okay, that's frequency tables and grouped frequency tables, also called frequency distributions from time to time. I hope you found that useful.